Okay, so here we have a rear delt, posterior delt. Squeeze all that. Squeeze all that. Exercise. Now watch carefully the angle here around. because what, be what you might see might job. do all of that. is actually alter his position. Posterior delt toward mid distance, front end toward the distance. Yep, there you go. There you go. See how the rep range changes as well as the angle and speed of the movement. So this is a good example of how even within one exercise, multiple angles can be explored to stimulate different adaptive response. All right, now notice carefully the change in grip. This is actually gonna change not just the angle slightly, but also the position of contraction as well. Um, yet one more variation to stimulate the posterior deltoid. And here again, within the same exercise, you're seeing a variation perform. All pursuant to stimulating adaptive response in the deltoid. It makes sense that I should fire it. So I was, like you guys, I'm so focused on working the rear delts, I wasn't firing everything else. So look. Everything. Yeah, it's a rear delt, but on stage, everything is seen. So this tap is mid all the way. Dude, that's so freaking hard. I'm not even that dense. Savage. Where you're keeping attention on the muscle. Exactly. My position. Oh, man. Dude, that was even tough for you. That was tough. That was even tough for you, man. Look at that. 41 years of training, and I tried something different here. It's a rear delt exercise, but watch this. It's your major muscle working, but let me say this. Everything else is working, like he's on stage. Everything is working. The trap, mid rhomboids, lower back even squeeze at the top. So the point is, when you guys are doing your getting ready for a show and you pose. For you guys that don't pose, start. I don't care if you compete. You don't need to compete. It's a mind and muscle connection. But uh, for you guys that compete and you're posing those last couple weeks, right? And you sit there and you hit a shot and you're hoping your significant other is gonna get the right photo and you hold it for about five seconds and you're done. So that's what this is like. You're hitting that shot so hard up at the top, and I know it's the main main thing is the rear delt, but everything is working. It's uh, you guys will love this. Put it all the way down. And like I said, 41 years of training. I haven't done it like this. Like Robbie said, I like this. I like this. Beautiful, just rear delts. That's what we're all gonna do. Just keep going. Now I know you guys want to do this, but like. Robbie and I talk about when you're on stage or you're on the wrestling mat or you're walking on screen and TV, they shoot everything. Now the change up is everything is flexed. Yeah, that's the major muscle, but everything. Nice. You're not going to be able to go as heavy. So this will check your ego at the door. This is an isolation. This is posing. And again, it goes back to the point of where you're posing and... and your uh, Instagram girls taking photos of you. 
and you can only hold it for a couple seconds. And then he stands up, and I'm short again. <laughs> See that? <laughs> That's how it works out. Something I was told, not so big. Oh. <laughs> See? Fake natty. <laughs> Couple different ways to do this. Nice. Hands can come together or they can go out wide. Out wide is going to be tougher. So the lighter, hands closer together, you can go heavier. Nice kid. And that's the big, the big shaddy. Nice kid. And then people will walk right in front of you like that. Just daydreaming. Keep going like that. <laughs> so, so, oh, I have friends who are sitting there and they want to go to the quarterback. No, no, no. Great exercise. So notice the variation here with the knee and foot position. This actually takes Ooh. away quite a bit of leverage out of the movement. Also notice the weight here. Mike's going to be doing almost the entire stack. And then again, the elbow position. about the one aspect of weightlifting, and that is, hey, I'm gonna get muscular. Okay, this is for all you athletes and stuff. A lot of the stuff is, range of motion is up here, gripping. So like in judo, everything comes from here and snaps. Everything comes from here, or here, and elbows up. So all this kind of stuff, manhandling, <laughs> you gotta come up above. So that's such a, it's a, it's a, yeah, man, I, I get this, we'll do this sometimes, 
but sometimes think about it differently. Uh, if you guys are, I mean, especially today with you youngsters that are getting a great body, and maybe whoa, bodybuilding whoa, whoa, whoa. doesn't work out. You're showing your age. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but when, when, when uh, let's say bodybuilding doesn't work out for you, powerlifting doesn't work out for you, but you got a great look and you got a good personality, there's bigger things, trust me, than a, hey, I'm Mr. LA. Great, and I love that, and, and that's one thing. Or you can make a career out of it. WWE, something bigger, something global, something where you become a huge superstar. Do that for a few years, make your millions, and then go do your dreams, whatever your dream is outside of that. But there's a lot of different things you can do when you're training correctly yeah. and total function. So just don't limit right here. If you got a bad shoulder, I'm gonna show you how Robbie does it. He's 153 years old, and uh, he doesn't have shoulders, but he still does the motion. Still does the motion. Yeah, this is shrugs with a twist. This range is pulling everything up. Everything's firing. You're finishing out the shoulders. You got the traps firing. You got the mid rhomboid. Everything's coming up, man. Let's go. That's my boy. That's my boy. Nice. If you're on stage and you're worried about your traps and everything else. Let me, let me give you a little trivia. Robbie Robson, obviously one of the greatest in the world, and at one time he was the greatest Masters in the world. Probably still is. But he won the Masters Mr. Olympia. And so that's the greatest, you know, that's the greatest guy over 40 years old. What was the Masters? Over 40, 45? What was it? 45? Masters Mr. Olympia. Oh, 94. And it was how old? How old were you? 60. 60? Yeah, he's about 60. Yeah. <laughs> he just won the Masters Mr. Olympia. And he beat a whole bunch of 40-year-olds. Mr. Olympias. So he beat guys that already competed in the Mr. Olympia. He was the greatest, and he was 60. He was never over 205 on stage. Never over 205. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, that stuff in the magazine was just like sale magazine. So let me, let me uh, tell you a little WWE thing. When guys are going, hey, I was 255, 290 on stage. If you're 290 on stage and you don't look it, you gotta say it, then you're not doing this right. The point here is it's an illusion. And Robbie had such a beautiful, has such a beautiful body that he never had to be over 205 pounds to be the greatest in the world. Think about that. So when you guys are so sucked into this aspect Size, of being size and so big, monstrous and so yeah, old huge. School rules, old school rules. Power body old school. Lives. Exactly. Power bodybuilding lives. He just said that. He said that. <laughs> so today's workout is all about range of motion, uh, different angles, working through injuries, longevity. Feel what you're doing. Squeeze. All these are different. And one of the biggest things that we talked about today is stop being such a size master where you have to be 300 pounds. Let's go, big boy. Then you got guys like him that are 270 pounds. But again, he was 300 pounds when he was a teenager. So that's why we like each other, because we were teenagers. I was 272. He was bigger than me as teenagers. And then we fine tune it through a lifetime, and that's why we can maintain this. Um, but the biggest thing is, don't forget, get years of passing drug tests. <laughs> they won't believe that anyway. They won't believe that. That we passed all the out. drug tests. That we passed every, all that. Every high school tournament, every high school game, singled out to take a drug test and pass, okay, with flying colors, have a drug policy with WWE, still pass, and because of our parents' genetics, we have to just say, I'm sorry. Don't say parents' genetics, just yeah. say our work ethic. Our work ethic? <laughs> Combined with genetics, combined with determination, combined with the environment we put ourselves in. Just a couple good-looking black guys. <laughs>
You're gonna hate, man. It's all right. So, uh, 205 on stage, winning shows, the greatest shows, a monster from birth, all different aspects, but still training together. Enjoy today's workout. People try to pull with your hand, but you're supposed to be pulling with the elbow, because that's where all your strength is. It's as if you're a bench press, you're supposed to be pushing with the elbow. That's the power part of the exercise. Exactly what you do is pulling with this elbow and squeeze. By pulling that muscle up there, you just receive more muscle fibers. Also, also that I feel like the crow with my messy hair. So, you know, that's a, that's a plus. <laughs> They, they, don't, they, 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 they don't even know what that is. <laughs> Nobody watching knows who the crow is. Huh? Russell Crow? I don't know. What are you talking about? 